Hola bellas, welcome back to Gypsino City TV. Today's episode, we are doing a fabulous, glammed, glittery, smoky eye for New Year's Eve. This makeup look was actually inspired by a celebrity makeup artist. Her name is Tara Taylor and I had the pleasure of working with her a few weeks ago on a holiday campaign and, and commercial for full, little, 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 can't even talk today for full beauty now if you've never heard of full beauty they're actually a kind of like a one-stop shop for plus size clothing brands so if you go on fullbeauty.com you're going to be able to shop all of your favorite plus size clothing brands all on one site which is great because as curvy women it's already hard for us to find clothes that you know fit our bodies so if you can just go to one place online that kind of has a roundup of all the best uh plus size clothing brands and you can just shop all on one website like how dope is that and tara taylor was the lead makeup artist for the campaign for the campaign commercial holiday shoot and she created this gorgeous like i i can't even tell you how gorgeous it is she created this gorgeous blue smoky eye on the lead uh dancer in the commercial which was ming lee and as soon as I saw it, I was just obsessed with it. I love the entire makeup look. I actually told Tara that I wanted to recreate this look on my YouTube channel. So here it is. It is like the perfect look for New Year's Eve. I know a lot of women are color, tend to shy away from wearing color, especially when it comes on the lids. And I personally love color. Blue smoky eyes and purple smoky eyes are my absolute 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 favorite because especially if you are if you have darker skin and if you have brown eyes they just make your eyes pop so much and this look i mean i just had to recreate it so i i hope that i did tara's makeup look some justice because i mean you guys can actually go watch the video and tell me what you think um you can watch the video from for for the full beauty holiday shoe i'll post the link to it below in the description bar so you guys can check it out take a look at ming's makeup after she uh gets her little transformation you guys are going to love it the makeup was amazing tara if you're watching this girl i hope i did your makeup some justice so anyways let's get this tutorial started if you guys want to know how to get this gorgeous bold glittery blue smoky eye for New Year's Eve, then keep watching this video. So of course you wanna start off with the cleanse face and after moisturizing, you wanna apply a primer. Here I'm using Mally's Prep and Prime and I've really been digging this primer. I used it in my last video as well and I like the mousse and velvety texture of it and I like the way that it makes my foundation look. Next, I'm applying Urban Decay's Primer Potion to my eyes. To make sure that my eyeshadow lasts all night long because this look involves a lot of glitter we're gonna start on the eyes first and I am going to use my favorite eyeshadows from Mac saddle brown script and embark and I'm applying that to my lid and the crease as a transition color if you don't own these colors of course you can use any brown color on your crease as a transition color just make sure it has a rich warm undertone so that it looks really good with the smoky eye. For the eyes, I am going to be using this NYX eyeshadow palette. It's the NYX Avant Pop Shadow Palette in Surreal My Heart, and I'm using that rich cobalt blue that's in the palette, and I'm just packing that on with the flat eyeshadow blush brush from Sonia Kashuk. To intensify that color, I sprayed the brush with some setting spray and then dipped it back into the palette and just continued to pack it on my lid. You want to take your time building up this color so that you can really get that color payoff. You want to make sure to keep that blue just on your lid and then go back in with the brown in the palette and apply that to your crease and continue to blend everything out. This look is going to consist of you basically going back into that blue and packing it on the lid and then going back with a crease color and applying that to your crease and blending everything out. I also applied the black from the palette to the corners of my eyes to add definition. For my brows, you guys know that I like to apply brow gel first, so I applied Makeup Forever's brow gel and then I continued to fill my eyebrows in in short strokes with the Urban Decay Brow Beater in Neutral Brown. You guys kind of know this routine already because it's the same thing in all of my videos. To define my arch, I applied Milani's Brow and Eye Highlighter in number two and blended everything out. 
To intensify that blue shadow, I added Black Radiance Color Pigments Vivid Eyeshadow in Cobalt. It's a loose eyeshadow pigment and it's so inexpensive. It's like $2 at Walmart and it really, really gave me that pop of blue that I wanted in the eyes. For this, I just sprayed my brush the same way that I did before with the setting spray and then I dipped it into the loose shadow and placed it on my lids. Now for the glitter, I am going to use Lit Cosmetics. I love this glitter for the eyes. They have a clear adhesive and I'm going to apply that on this little pencil brush and then dip it into the glitter and place the glitter on my lids. The glitter that I use for this look is Punk and the size is number three. That's the size of the glitter. And then I'm just lightly layering that on top of the shadow. And then I'm going to apply a silver glitter, which is the name of it, it's called Share. I love that name. And it's the size of the glitter is number two and it really is going to give you that boom in the eyes. After that, I just went back into the blue shadow and kind of packed that on top of the glitter. Moving on to foundation, I am going to be applying Makeups Forever Ultra HD Foundation for a flawless finish. And I'm going to apply it with their foundation brush number 108. I have to say that I've been very impressed with this brush. When it comes to applying foundation, I usually like to use a beauty blender or a kabuki brush but I have to say that I've been highly impressed with this brush and the way that it applies this foundation. Smooth finish, no streaks, flawless look. I'm highly, highly impressed with this. Love it. Now I'm just gonna go really quickly back into the crease and blend that color out again. And now for the fun part, applying falsies. You definitely need a false lash with this look to really make it pop and I'm going to be using one of my favorite lashes and I have a secret to tell you guys. Oh my God, you're not going to believe these, but the lashes that I'm using in this video are from MissAid.com and they're only a dollar. That is like my big secret, so don't tell too many people, okay? And of course, to apply the lashes, I am using my favorite lash glue in the whole wide world. It's Lock On Lash. To blend my real lashes with the falsies, I'm going to use one of my fave mascaras. This is from Lancome. It's the Grandiose Mascara with the Swan Neck. This stuff is bomb and I love the bristles on this brush because it really helps you get into every little nook and cream. For concealer, I'm going with the full coverage look and I'm going to be using Tarte Maracuja Creases Concealer. Just make sure to warm that baby up on your fingers because it is really thick and I'm going to blend it out using a wet cosmetic sponge. This is from Alcone and it's the best cosmetic wedge ever. Make sure you set your concealer. I'm gonna set mine with Ben Nye's Banana Powder and I'm applying that with a dry cosmetic wedge and packing that under my eyes. <laughs> For a dramatic look, I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line and I'm going to apply that same blue from the NYX palette and then I'm going to go in with this Kohl eyeliner from MAC and I'm putting that into my waterline, sorry I couldn't remember what it was called, and then I'm going to smudge that out with a blending brush and kind of blend the eyeliner and the blue color together. With a small stippling brush, just dust off the excess powder under your eyes and then go ahead and apply some mascara to your lower lashes. Since we are going to be out partying all night, we want to make sure that we set our foundation with a setting powder and I am going to use Ready to Wear's Couture Finish Powder. I want to make sure that my contour stays on all night, so I'm going to be using this Per Cosmetics Cameo Contour Stick in tan, and I just took a blending brush and I dipped that in the darker color and I applied that along my cheekbones, along my forehead, and on the bottom of my jawline, and then I'm blending everything out with a brush, and then I'm going to set that contour with a powder. You can use a matte bronzer or a foundation, powder foundation that is two shades darker than you are. To highlight my nose and, and a little bit of my forehead and my chin, I just used the lighter end of this stick and then I blended it out with a wet sponge. And I've really been loving this contouring stick because the actual product is super creamy and I definitely want to do a highlighting and contouring video 
for you guys using this product because I love it. I'm going to go back into the darker shade and apply that down the sides of my nose and kind of create like a little circle on the tip of my nose to give me that cute little button nose. I love doing this and I just love contouring my nose, especially when it looks super natural. For blush, I am going to apply my favorite, which is Gingerly by MAC. I'm going to put that on the apples of my cheeks. Then I'm going to go in with my highlighter. You guys know I love to use a cream base first and then apply powder. I'm using MAC's Hush Cream Color Base and then I'm applying highlighter, which my camera didn't catch. For my lips, I'm going to use NYX Coffee Lip Liner. This is a great lip liner for any nude lip. Then I'm going to apply my ultimate favorite nude lipstick and it's so inexpensive. It's from L'Oreal. It's called Ferris Nude. And then to make my lips look nice, juicy, and full, I'm going to apply this lip gloss by Mally and it's her H3 Full Lips Serum Lip Gloss and the color is Tea Rose. It's like a little baby pink. And that's just gonna make my lips look really full, hydrated, and juicy. To tame down my little baby hairs, I'm going to use Curls Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Paste. If you guys want to know how to do this slick back hairstyle for curly hair, just check out my videos. I have a video on this. And here it is. What do you guys think? So that was my blue glittery smoky eye tutorial for New Year's Eve. If you guys are going out, this is the perfect look. I can promise you, you're probably going to get... So many compliments on, on your makeup and people telling you that you look gorgeous because it really is a stunning look, especially in person. I had so much fun recreating this makeup look and I hope that you guys try it out for the New Year's. I know it can get a little bit complicated, especially if you're a beginner. Maybe this is probably something that you might want to try out maybe next year when you get a little bit more makeup experience. But for my girls who are comfortable with color and blending and using glitter, this is a fantastic look for you guys to try. I will be filming a second makeup tutorial for New Year's Eve and I'm going to try to make that one a little bit easier for my beginners. Because I know when you probably go on YouTube now, there's all the makeup looks for New Year's Eve obviously involve a lot of glitter and they're probably a little complicated especially for somebody that maybe just started wearing makeup this year so my second new year's eve makeup look will definitely be a little bit easier for my beginners but girl if you can practice 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 and rock this look on new year's eve because it is gorge anyway guys thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video if you're not subscribed to my channel uh hello what are you waiting for big things coming in 2016 Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so that you can see my latest videos weekly. I am uploading weekly, so you guys don't want to miss my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching, and oh my God, Happy New Year. Wishing you all the best in 2016. So excited, so ready to let go of 2015. Can't wait to see what 2016 holds in store for me, as well as for you all. Sending you, honestly, nothing but love and light for 2016. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. P.S. If you guys want to see more pictures of this look, check out my blog. My tummy nose is so cute. Girl, this beat. This beat though.